Welcome to WSJ Live, I'm Simon Constable. How about this for a tipple in the middle of summer? Cantaloupe flavored vodka. It's time for weekend sip and Charles Passy has the booze and Emma Moody has her first. Thank you both for joining us. Sure. Thank you. Uh, Charles, you, you've written a column this week about, about vodka, particularly this vodka, Grey Goose uh, Le Melon. Uh, <laughs> What you also write about is the change from basically gasoline style vodka to a very pure. Take us through it. Well, I mean, Grey Goose changed the entire game. I mean, this was a groundbreaking vodka. You go back basically 20 years ago, Grey Goose said, uh, we're going to make a very elegant vodka. We're going to source a vodka from France. Nobody had ever heard of vodka from France. Vodka came from Poland. It came from Russia. And, um, and it was a groundbreaking brand. It was a very good vodka, too, on top of everything. Uh, a very smooth, a very clean, a very creamy, a very almost vanilla-flavored vodka. Um, the problem is it's 20 years later and Grey Goose has a lot of competition. So Grey Goose has been in the process of really kind of rebranding itself. Its sales have been flat um, in the last year. Um, um, part of uh, also what Grey Goose has never really done is got aboard the flavor game. They've done a couple of flavors, but not a lot. Flavored vodka is a huge category. So now this year they've come out with another flavor. This is a cantaloupe, a melon flavor. They source it from a particular French melon, the Cavaillon melon. Uh, why don't we give it a taste? Yeah, what do you think? Do you, are, you, are, you a, uh, are you a vodka drinker? I would imagine a, you are. I, <laughs> why do you imagine that, Simon? I, 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 I just I would imagine. But I, I am. I am not a flavored vodka drinker. Okay, well, let's, let's find out what we all think so, about see. this. Um, smell Mario, it what, the smell is amazing. I mean, it's really It's good. actually a really lovely smell. Oh. The smell of when you just cut into the melon, it's just that very, mm. very good smell. What, what do you think of the taste, uh, Emma? Emma, who doesn't like flavored vodka, is going to tell us now. What do you think? I am, I am, I'm impressed. You're I'm impressed. impressed. I'm, I may need a little more persuading, but it's like I've got to say, it's, it's very smooth. Um, the nose that it has really, really helps yeah. helps with the flavor. I think. And now this has been given to us neat, right? There's no right. ice in it. Um, right. It feels rather strong to me. Right. Would it be better over ice? What do you think? Um, I like. I mean, they the brand recommends it chilled rather than with, with. I mean, they say you can certainly have it over ice. They recommend it chilled. I think I do. I've tried it a bunch of different ways. Um, I would say that this would be my preferred uh, way of enjoying it. You get the flavor. A little bit more in the back end. I would say, I, I, in some ways, I enjoy the nose more than the flavor. Mm -hmm. The flavor is a little too subtle, perhaps, but um, it works really well in cocktails. I, I just like too. the way I said it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking the flavor about that. It's like I, I feel like I'm going to grow hairs on the palm of my hands. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's kind of tough. It, it is, in, you know. It well, it's is, vodka. It is, it is vodka. Like, yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not, you know, we're, we're, we're not, not talking kids water. stuff here or whatever. <laughs> you know, so. It's not barley water. But, definitely not. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> cheers. Emma and Charles, cheers everyone. Yeah. Have a great weekend. I'm Simon Constable and that's it.